Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Day to you, sir. Welcome to the Pan Hotel. Don't hesitate to ask if you need our Sometimes I wish I were an average Joe on a Checking way in. to work in the morning. And Name's Tobias Reaper. Thank you so much, sir. Here's your key card. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Welcome That's to the Himapan Hotel. Please follow me. Yeah, I hope so you'll enjoy your stay. Oh. Ken Morgan. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, lawyer and corporate I fixer. Still not. Frightful. How should I hear about money for you? When? Can I have? Of my sweet right. housekeeping is just adding the finishing touches. It won't be long now, sir. After you, sir, please. This way.
even letting guests in. It's the lounge. They closed it off. Yeah, scrap people. I mean, it's like they're taking over the place room by room. As if the noise wasn't enough. It's getting rude. People pay good money to stay here. We're not second-class citizens just because the owner's son decides to pop by. Ah, uh, the owner doesn't give a shit. He's the head of a media empire, probably only in all two places to tax. There's plenty of other places to go. Ash, I know this. Uh, here you are, sir. You can always call reception if you need anything else. Bar has not been replenished. Please see to it at once. I'm here to restock the minibar, please. staff. Oh, yes. I am here to restock the minibar, please. I look forward to leaving. So, your son's mannequins, Dexy Barrett. I mean, you should know. It's not a problem. 
but I know the type. No, no, we'll meet on the QT. We don't want John to know I'm here. He might throw a fit to sway Miss Barrett from doing the smart thing. Think nothing of it. Some things need to be handled in person. It is only the semi-finals after all. I'll call you from the airport. Only the semi-finals. Oh. I never could stand high humidity. If you this need any help, please London. just let me know. No thanks, yes. darling. Please, please. Yes. Thank we you. could head up to the suite. Nice and chill there. Less chance of getting spotted. Oh, no. I'm not setting one foot inside that room until the housekeeping is done. I do have to. It was pretty disgusting. Besides, Jordan Cross is unlikely to be this evening. Hopefully, my business with Dexie Barrett won't take all day and we can fly back out tonight. In the meantime, Otis, keep an eye out. Try not to melt. Wow, look, a butler, a real butler. Servant. Who's the jittery guy over there? Looks like another one of those rock stars. Uh, that's Abel De Silva. He's only one of the most awesome oh, drummers on the. He was in Death and Taxes and, and Flat Earth Society. Yeah, I, I like Top 40. Ah. Uh, anyway, De Silva's filling in for the drummer in Jordan Cross's band who quit yesterday. The record label flew him in, and I took him up to the restaurant lounge. Oh, Miss, Miss Barrett, the manager, she's going to come get him soon. Gee, I guess I should get his autograph. You, you, you don't deserve his autograph. Interesting. The class's regular drummer unexpectedly quit the band, and the record label has flown in a replacement. Upcoming indie drummer Abel De Silva, who is currently waiting in the restaurant lounge. Better yet, Jordan Cross has not previously met Mr. De Silva, and the two of you do share a resemblance, 47. Autograph, you deserve pooping the bag. Yes, I am well I aware that the cake's topper right is missing. So chop, chop. Can't wait. The table complaining We're tremendously the busy hurried here. Up, hurried up. It's only numbers. I'm sure Jordan Cross doesn't need a cake to remind him how old he is.
of those little delicious, um... Every night. How have you not heard? I'm a heavy sleeper. Look, I always have been. Well, I'm telling you, every night in his room, Cross listens to this recording. A man and a woman fighting horribly over and over again. Oh, come on. He's just, just watching TV. One of those, uh, you know, one of those Scandinavian dramas where the people are having hissy fits in their kitchens and shit. He's not watching TV, but I recognize the woman's voice from TV. It's Hannah Heimel. Across his dead girlfriend, the, the one who, who fell from the roof? No, the other one. Of course, that dead girlfriend. Cross is listening to a recording of himself and Hannah Heimel fighting. What the? <laughs> That's what... Okay, well, does it end with a scream? No, but there's a struggle. Then he stops and rewinds. Come on, you, listen to yourself. You're taking a piss, man. <sighs> Why, why didn't you give it the authority? Whoever's making a mess here, will you please stop? Silva.
Mr. De Silva, how are you? How are you, Mr. De Silva? Oh, hey, Mr. De Silva. Dexie Barrett was supposed to pick you up at the restaurant lounge. Huh. Oh, well, well... That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. I'm back. Let's go again. Uh, West bought a Branson MD2? Yep. Also known as Old Sparky. Almost bankrupted Branson Tech back in the day. Yeah, well, why would West want to use a mic with an... Uh, who's this? Oh, hey, you're Quentin's replacement, right? Yeah, thanks for coming out. record company you entered before the mix was just right. Yeah, well still, I mean, to, to risk Jordan's life for a particular vocal sound that, that only he and, and a handful of people in the world will ever notice? As I say, uncommon. Hey, Abel. This is Abel De Silva. Anyway, it's safe enough take when you know how to handle it. Drums all just set up, don't us. crank the voltage. Cool. So, right, well, what do you say, man? Mind. Get behind the kit, show us what you made of. some kind of machine, aren't you? Oh, man. Nicely done. Why don't you walk with me, Abe? There's something I want to show you. After you. What's up, Abel? It's fine. Where are we going? Atrium roof. Look, I want a picture of your style. It's very tight, very new way. You, uh, you should talk to Dexy when we get back to New York. Small agency. Very low profile. You wouldn't have heard of them. <laughs> Old buddies from school, huh? Don't have the heart to let them go? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. But believe me, man, you gotta aim higher. Anyway, so I have this project coming up, yeah? I think it's right up your alley. Going solo? Yeah, that's the plan. I could use a solid drum. A hired gun, not a partner. Someone who does the job without getting noticed. Oh, so you're interested? It's what I do. Great, yeah. Oh, mull it over. Talk to your people if you have any. You can decide when we get back to New York. Good talking to you, Abe.
target down. Next up, Ken Morgan. Target down. Next up, Ken Morgan. By the way, if you ever see a guy who actually owns the What the? <laughs> you, you don't want to know. Wait, I recognize you. You're Ken Morgan. Yeah, yeah, they call you the brick, right? Keith McKenzie, U.S. Attorney's Office, South District. Keith? I saw you at the Chelsea Whitmore trial. Your strategy was the brassiest thing I've ever seen. The girl burned a homeless man alive, and framed her cheerleading rival, and you got her off on affluenza charges? Stroke of genius, sir. I see. You're, um, not gonna give me the speech about how I'm part of the problem. Mr. De Silva? About uh, how you will never embrace the private sector because you're fighting the good fight, and uh, justice is more important than money. Shit, no. The U.S. Attorney's Office is just a stepping stone to me. You don't buy a place in the Hamptons on a state salary. Hmm. Uh, Keith, was it? Uh, give my office a call. Uh, Morgan, Yates, and Cole. We may have something. Hey, tell Jordan Thank Cross you, he's awesome. we Will do. So, what are we really doing here, sir? You don't mind me asking? Not at all. Snooping is man's defining trait. You see, Otis, the bulk of my work takes place behind the scenes. I'm a fixer, only occasionally. 
court is like war. You only go if diplomacy fails. You're here on Thomas Cross's behalf, aren't you? That's why you don't want his son to know we're here? Bingo. Young the Master Cross is the proverbial thorn in his father's eye. Not to mention a royal screw-up. Tossing his girlfriend off the roof. Really. You can't trust a man who's unable to control his emotions. Hmm. It's undignified, sir. Anyway, that is what we're here for. Leverage. My client wants to tighten his son's leash, and Dexy Barrett has just the thing we need. It's called due diligence. I get it. But if Jordan goes down, doesn't Sorry, everyone who helped him escape yeah, justice go down with him? Including you and his dad? Not necessarily. Yeah. We would claim good faith and let Dexy Barrett take the fall. We have spun the rest of this. And that publicity is good for the ratings. Mm. Well, I'm glad I'm not a lawyer, sir. I don't think my Sorry, conscience could take I'm it. <laughs> Touche. The con man got con. No, on the contrary. So I'm okay. saying Stramberg was in on it. Nice I mean, several behind us. So what you say? Doesn't that sound good? He confessed to taking <laughs> part in a premeditated yeah, I mean, coup d'etat. <laughs> Zayden, you know he's Stramberg is a man in front to justify and oppose right? martial law. Me, the good old comedian, right? Did you really think I was in on it? You think Stramberg was in on it? Pam Kingsley, the GNN reporter who interviewed Stramberg, makes a pretty convincing case. I mean... Why would Strambo confess his guilt on live TV the way he did at that particular moment? He was clearly adding fuel to the fire, almost as if he wanted the rioters to invade the Swedish consulate. And what about Consul Olander's diplomatic beat dragging? No, this was a conspiracy order. Klaus Strandberg knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah, except he got himself killed, as did Zayden. Mm. Yes, so help you? the no. question is, we'll leave then, were they betrayed by their own, or another faction entirely? Oh, through a glass darkly, huh? Oh, yeah. Whatever happened that day, my guess is, it's far from over. Do you like that fax machine we have at the office? Stuff just kind of comes out of it. Why or how? And we end up poking at it. You're the manager. Oh, Christ. I mean, it's some. So, I want to get that package for Wes, but reception says one of our guys picked it up an hour ago. Uh, must have been Julian. <laughs> yeah, he's with that actress again, Jackie Carrington. Saw him sneak up to her room earlier. Damn it. I was kind of hoping the package had gotten lost. I mean, I know Wes Liston is a sucker for all things vintage, but Branson MD Time. Huh? Says it's the best vocal mic of the 60s. And deadliest. An MD2 electrocuted Fab Chamberlain on stage at Clashton. Let me know if you need anything, Mr. De Silva. According to the hotel gardener, Ken Morgan wants to purchase his aging tuk-tuk as a souvenir. Unfortunately for him, he can't get the engine working. Well, 
You're good at fixing things, 47. I suggest you give the gardener a helping hand. This could be excellent bait. Talk. <laughs> Tourists, right? <laughs> they just love authenticity. I don't know, the guy wants to use it as a golf cart at his Hamptons Country Club or whatever. <laughs> be my guest, man. His folly is my game. <laughs> no kidding. Well, I guess I can stick around for a bit. You know, for moral support. Thanks. Garçon? Tell me again. Why was he not getting any assistance there? They said... Show 47. It's time to close the deal. to deliver Mr. Morgan the good news. <laughs> Morgan, sir? Yes. Ah, the tuk-tuk fellow. Did you manage to fix the engine? No, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> she spins like a kid. Right. Oh, lead the way. I see.
right, uh, there she is. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead, Mr. Morgan. Uh, uh, please, uh, you do the honors. Faces at Hampton Hills. Wrap it up and ship it to my billing address. My PA will contact you about payment. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Target's down. Now head towards an exit. This was no good. 
by a long shot. Thomas Cross had billions in hidden offshore accounts, all stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the High Moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is... The game's tomb. 